Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. I'm happy that you are here with us, and I can tell you that you are in for a treat. So um, I have with us our partner, Dell, and we will walk you through some Dell services, tidbits that you need to know. All right. But before we start, let me take you through some housekeeping matters. So first of all, the session is being recorded. The duration is an hour and included in that hour is time allotted for your questions. All our participants are in listen only mode, but you do have the option to ask questions using the questions tab anytime during the session. However, those questions will be answered at the end of the session and uh, you will have access to the slides and the recording uh, after today's presentation is concluded. Uh, as promised in the invitation, once you are an attendee, you will receive lunch on us. So this will be given to you through a gift certificate to a local restaurant. So now let me take you to who our presenters are from Dell. So we have Jose, he's a channel services account executive. And then we have Stephanie, and she's the services sales for uh, NOLA in Central America and the Caribbean. And we have Randall, who is the principal engineer, uh, IT architecture for Dell EMC. And then we have Ricardo, and he's a technical sales advisor for Latin America. So now uh, I will hand over to Jose, who will take you through his presentation. Over to you, Jose. Okay, thank you, Crystal. And thank you for all the attendees uh, on today's uh, presentation. Uh, it's a pleasure to, to be here. Um, first of all, a uh, uh, message from the distance because we need to reinvent, we need to, to transform in this time where we cannot fly to, to Jamaica to do this uh, even in a presence way. Uh, so we are doing it in a virtual way adapting to to the new the new reality and uh with this we were going to give you this content related to workforce transformation that is something that already arrived this was a message that we was driving uh some some months ago previous to this pandemic time uh but now it's a, a reality many of us are in a lockdown within our countries at, at home uh we have not been uh at office like more than seven months ago so we need to transform uh but we need to continue operating we need to continue business and this is the way uh and, and we were going to be explaining the way how we are transforming uh, business with technology and also uh, adapting to the new behaviors of the uh, employees, right? Because uh, more and more the adaptation is based on the experience of the users, not as in the past that was more focused on the devices. So we were going to be driving in our agenda. Uh, please go next. Uh, we were going to, going to be driving in our agenda, talking a little bit around uh, workforce transformation and then uh, uh, giving more details about how we can support any uh, issue or any breakout related to the operations after these workforce transformations appear in terms of a proactive support around artificial intelligence, uh, then my peers, uh, Stephanie Aguilar and Randall Buchanan, we're gonna be talking more about how we can do a smart deployment, a more agile deployment, save time 
in an optimization model. And at the end, we were going to be closing with uh, the last update around our Dell client portfolio that is also connect with this message of word transformation because Ricardo Cáceres will going to highlight some message around uh, clean desktops and also how are some features from our devices helping us this work from transformations go uh, in an easy way. Okay, next please. So, uh, it's very important to understand how it was the history of this uh, journey to this workforce transformation. Uh, we talk about a first generation that was more based on, on a workspace focus, uh, maximizing the hardware utilization. Okay. Then we go through a second generation on, uh, on what we call the optimized cost. It means uh, was all about cost reductions through standardization and optimization of services. But nowadays, we are entering in a third generation that is more focused on productivity, right? And why? Because productivity, because that, that will not going to be a, a, a turn back to us as, as we know all people working on one side. Uh, that's why you were going to be hearing some new terms related personas that is more based on profiles of how customers uh, interact in their daily basis around changing from networks, changing from places where they are uh, working. So this third generation is focused on improving the employee experience through software and services. Okay. So workplace workplace services are shifting and employees are shifting and employees have become customer to the IT organization Dell technology is helping organizations like your organization your your uh, uh, environment to has an improvement on the employees experience how with modern pro, with modern productivity tools devices stream light access to IT resource and uh, driving down costs, standard, standard catalogs, and out, out, automating uh, where possible. Okay, uh, next, please. So we are now putting the customer first, right? Uh, the experience that he will gonna has having more and, and, and the the thing is that is more the, there are two things that are more demanding nowadays one of them is time people want uh, things uh, happens more rapidly and also the security to not 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 make a big a big issue with this new new work for transformation exposing your security when you your your users or your customers are changing from one network to others, download applications that are not uh, within their devices and we're going to be staying in a temporal way. So it's very important to uh, increase the security and has a plan. Always things begin with a plan and many of you has a brainstorm of ideas to begin this workforce transformation. But if you have not landed the plan, we are here to support you and understand your reality, which are, which are your, your, uh, your profiles of, uh, of users, which are your uh, applications in your market, so we can connect all of them and then set a plan to begin that journey. Uh, could be in a, in, a one, in, in, in a one run, or maybe we can need to, to have step or, or, or phases to, to approach that goal regarding the, the transformation that you, you, you want to, to have. So always put your employee first. You will going to see that most of us will going to be talking about the end user, how, 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 what are they demanding, and, and, and which will going to be the model of, uh, of work that they will going to have. Next, please. So we have to have uh, four pillars very clear for this uh, 
unified workforce workforce transformation. One of them is the deploy. Uh, as I said, uh, my peers Stephanie and, and Randall will gonna give you more details around it. Uh, but let me let me ask uh, something. Uh, and, and 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 please, uh, we were gonna have a pop up over here. Which is the profiles of your current workforce related to uh, if all working from home or more than fifty percent working uh, in a remote way or maybe in a mixed workforce, some ones remote and some ones on site. Let me give you a time so you can. Okay, let's go, let's go ahead. Well, as I as I say, we have four pillars. Uh, let's give a time where Crystal will find it. Those like it was number five, Crystal. That that's one. That's the one. So as we said, uh, we have four pillars: the deploy, uh, the security, the manage, and the support. We will gonna be talking about each one of them in in a few. So uh, next, please. Let's let's begin with the deploy in a general way because as I said, uh, Stephanie and Randall we're gonna. Uh, going more deeper around it uh, when, when they were going to interact with you. But it's very important to have a plan. As I say, we have services related to client deployment assessment, which we're gonna, we, where which we're going to evaluate all the, the variables that you have around applications, around security, around type of devices, around quality of network, and more of them, so we can uh, connect them to have a, a better experience for you could identify your personas. Personas is the profile that each one of your users will gonna have. It's going around your operating system that they were gonna use, if they were gonna be 100% mobile or 100% on-site or a mixed uh, users, also, it's connect with the type of application or the segment on the company that they uh, they are working on. For example, uh, if they are sales or if, if they are from marketing or if they are from finance operation, each one of them will gonna have a different role and a different access to, to application and information also and data. So the access uh, of it will gonna be related also to uh, authentication uh, ways and, and security that we were gonna set to have a, a, a better connection with them and also uh, uh, to be more agile in terms of, of connectivity of all the platform. Next, please. Around security, this is something that maybe you have not been uh, here from Dell in the past. Uh, we now have more uh, solutions related to uh, security in, in terms of uh, identification of malware, virus, bugs from the end user, and it's called the, uh, the Dell Endpoint Security Software. So we will gonna be uh, more uh, connected with your uh, behaviors and try to understand what are your, your, your issues or, or which could be your, your potential threats within your company so we can close that and, and have a better experience in this transformation with a better safety. Next one, please. In terms of management, it's very important to highlight the, uh, the use of Workspace ONE. This is the, it is a product of VMware, but it is the product that is changing the end user uh, experience nowadays because with it, we could have <clears throat> with it, we, we are we are having more uh, agility to has uh, a, a better secure uh, environment for workforce in terms of mobility and also 
remember that the 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 biggest issues nowadays with this mix of user is that IT teams are struggling to keep up that management in a good way. So four changes that need to be doing is to first of all upgrade to Windows 10. Yes, also to have a hardware refreshed and consolidate and manage operation in a in a simplification model. In terms of deployment, uh, it's very important to set up new employees and update the the, the system. Uh, some one of the struggle that that most of the IT administrator are having is how they can maintain devices updated. Yes. And this is a, a good solution for doing that. Also, uh, resolving security breaches on, on, on customer satisfaction issues is, is covering with, with this type uh, of solution. Uh, the, the deployment needs to be more rapidly, and when you when the device arrives to your to your location. It is basically out of the box and, and productivity in, in the first in the first day. Uh, the patching in the past has been taking like weeks to have uh, applications and system uh, patched. But nowadays from cloud uh, driving with uh, Workspace ONE, we are doing that in minutes. Also the detection and remediation of security is more in a pool that we're going to receive on, on, on the cloud, on your internal cloud, so we're going to be more easier to drive that type of, uh, of needs. So the interaction of application from multi-platform is, is one of the biggest uh, enhancements that Workspace ONE will going to drive uh, in this type, of, in, in this journey of, of motor transformation. Uh, next, please. Well, so uh, let me let me give you more more detail related the 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 workspace one. In the workspace one, some something uh, very important uh, that you need to to consider is the ability to have application uh, application access. You could move from native mobile applications to web applications, or maybe on on-premise application or virtual application. And it doesn't depend on the operating system. We're gonna depend more on, on the, the needs from the business that you are demanding because Workspace ONE is already uh, done for iOS or Android or for Windows 10. Let me give you an example of how we are using as Dell employees advantage from Workspace ONE. In the past, we need to uh, be compliant on some trainings that were was accessed from applications within our network. So we need to go to, uh, to, to, to one side of our organization, log in, and from then uh, take online trainings. Nowadays, we have the ability to do those trainings in from our home or also in a mobile way. From our cell phones, it doesn't matter if it is Android or it is iOS. We are we have through Workspace ONE a pool of application. It is it's not Play Store, it's not uh, iOS uh, uh, application of, of, of Apple, it's Dell application pool and this is the same thing that you could have in your company because you can make an application pool with some characteristic that could be accessed from your users depending on the profiles or persona that you have already determined for them determine on how they will gonna uh, authenticate or, or or connect with with the access of of, of that applications download in a temporary way or download in their devices for a long time. And you can also continue the connection with that user in, in, in terms of management, giving them the correct and proper upgrades so they could sustain or maintain 
that uh, use of those applications in a smart way with rapid connection, uh, with uh, quick uh, and, and fast uh, periods of upgrades. And this is experience or changing that you are giving now to your uh, to your employees. So let me go and, um, and begin now uh, entering in how we are supporting after deployment is done, after uh, your customer has your devices and specifically your business PC, how we are supporting uh, if they are have a fail or, or, or an incident, how we are uh, connecting with them or with you to have more, more rapid solution on them. Next, please. There is a there is a, an engine software for monitoring on on Dell Business PC called Support Assist. Please take very very uh, please take take notes of this uh, of of this uh, software because Support Assist came with uh, Pro Support and Pro Support Plus. Pro Support and Pro Support Plus are two value support uh, offers that you can have access from Dell uh, in business PC. And they have this uh, software available for you and is part of, uh, of the price price that you are, are paying. So it's very important you to connect with this because some of our customers acquire devices, but if they didn't, uh, uh, didn't activate the support assist, they are losing much of the things that uh, I will gonna be uh, sharing you in a few. So with support assist, you can ensure productivity, optimize the PC experience. I will gonna uh, highlight that with, with some screenshot of, uh, of the tool so you could have more detail around what, 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 what it has. And also uh, support us to, to, to identify in a, quick, in a quick way if an incident will gonna we're going to be done previous to appears. So maybe it, it takes the alerts of some of the components from the from the PCs to give us uh, anticipation of of incidents uh, of incident incidents so we can have as uh, rapid resolutions. Next, please. OK, as, as I said, we have the two types of of support on, 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 on value support from Dell, Pro Support and Pro Support Plus. The Pro Support is the one that gives you proactive support. It means if something fails, we will gonna have all the history of what already has in your PCs and we can rapidly uh, detect which where, where was the failure and if, if, if we can solve it through a troubleshoot, we can do it and if we need to go to your site and change a component of it to repair the, the PCs, and you can you, you can can have it uh, done. We can also do it. And Pro Support Plus is the one that has the value of predictive. When we say predictive, is that it not necessary the device has uh, sent uh, an alert to the user. Maybe yes, it's it sent an alert to the administrator, but not to the user. And maybe the user will gonna be on board saying, okay, let me uh, schedule a, a maintenance window for tomorrow because we need to change your drive, your hard drive. And the user maybe could say, but I am not uh, feeling that my PC is having issues, but we are already receiving that report from support assist that this hard drive has some alerts and is better to change before it's broke. Next, please. So in terms of the console of support assist, we have uh, some, some features that, that we need to highlight that is a centralized management console. We also has option for optimize updates and, and review the, 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 protect, the, the module of security. Uh, it's not only used, support assist agent is not only used to predict or connect with where when something fails. We also fit this agent with some security uh, information and also encrypted information to avoid uh, most uh, malwares and, and firmware. We are connected to a global uh, network of companies that study the recent uh, attacks 
and, and threats related to security. So, so we also fit our agent to have those type of features and, and help our customer to increase the security. Let me let me talk about this. This is very 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 cool uh, slide because in the in the right chart you could see the assets uh, inventory. It, it is also giving you information about how many from all your 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 total uh, install base are uh, near to expire their support. Yes, it says warranty contract expired in 90 days. So you can have a better visibility uh, and anticipation of, of how you can move forward uh, scheduling your tech refresh or uh, refresh the support from your devices. Also, it gives you a drill down related to how much of those devices has Pro Support, Pro Support Plus, or maybe basic support. And at the other uh, small chart at the right of that of that table is the versions of uh, of Suporasis uh, agent that you have installed. And it's very important to you have the last version most of the time because it is the one that we have been working for giving you the most updated uh, informa uh, information information and, and credential for for anticipate detections and prevent failures and also the the things related to security that i talked before next please okay uh this is also a, a slide that i i put here so you could have better visibility on the on the, the panel of control that we have from tools. So you could, in, in this, uh, the administration, in an easy way with this chart, will identify how much pending uh, uh, updates it needs to, to be done. If it is uh, having some uh, issues with the network, we have also some recommendation for optimizing network and also uh, additional information to enhance and and control or fine tune the performance of the PCs with scanning the hard drive, clean files, and also removing removing virus and, and malware. Next, please. Next. <clears throat> Next one. The, the, this one, right? So in this one, we have a remediation for your PCs. So it's it's give us a, a complete panel with all all the the devices that you have and and give you more more general details related how pcs are pending to 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 have updates how much of them has recommendation recommendations for tune performance so it's very cool and very easier for the administrator to have a control panel regarding the 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 support assist uh, information and also the uh, enhancement that they could do on performance to, to the user endpoint uh, devices. Next, please. This is how we, we have uh, here, your, yes. Okay, at the top, you will gonna see that it says, this detail is from a latitude 7390 to in a one. And then it's a seven digits uh, code that is the service tag is the one that you need to share us so to, to give you support and identify all the credentials from the purchase of this device. But uh, I will gonna explain this more in the next two slides, please. Yes, I we already talked about prediction and proactive. Next, next, please. So here it is. Okay, see. And at the bottom, we have the traditional manual support. It take a long because when you when you call us uh, as well to to leverage a case or on a failure that you have on one PC, you need to share us too much information. The service stack, uh, if you have not uh, installed support assist, uh, and also if it is basic, you will you will not gonna have the, the monitoring services. So. We need to download the logs of the device if we can access it, and then begin troubleshooting to try to detect if we, we can uh, uh, identify which, which were the, the failure 
and it, it could be solved probably you know if we need to send a part uh in the middle one we have uh automate proactive support that is done with pro support and pro support plus basically we identified uh, uh in an auto automatic case creation uh what had happened we have already the logs so we quickly can have the the diagnostic and also uh, contact the customer so we can uh, determine how we were gonna fix that. If we were gonna be make a, a quick uh, troubleshooting or if we need to uh, have a break and fix uh, service because we need to, to, to change a, a component of your device. And at the top one is the most value support, which is Pro Support Plus. As I told you, uh, this give, you, give us uh, anticipated information for previous detection of failures uh within the component of your devices so we anticipate and communicate with you before something could face in your computer uh next please yeah we, we are basically ending this uh, this uh this section of, on on proactive and and support with artificial artificial intelligence uh we we use to telemetry data collection uh that is encrypted in in 265 uh, bits uh to control the the connection from from our common center through your network, and with this, then we are uh, working as I I explained in the chart before the predictive and the proactive uh, support managing with uh, support assist. Uh, let me give a, a, a make a pull before I I end my, my participation because it's very important to know how many of you are pending to install support assist agent and also this is very important thank you crystal also uh do you currently have dell client business pcs with proactive or predictive support it means do you acquire pro support or do you acquire pro support plus for your business pcs if it's if it's yes then you need to confirm if you already uh, installed the support assist because maybe you have already uh, you has uh, in, in 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 the bill in the paper the the pro support and the pro support plus and and the ability to install support assist but if you have not installed yet you need to contact Fujitsu and us so we can fix that, support you on how to install in a proper way. We have webcasts to do in that, but you also can call us and we could support you in a, in a, in a better personal way to have that uh, done and receive all the benefits that I have explained today. So uh, let me give, me, give the, the microphone to Stephanie Aguilar and Randall Bucana, who are gonna be uh, explaining more details around deployment optimization model that is part of the workforce transformation. Thank you very much. Hello, good morning, everyone. My name is Stephanie Aguilar. Thanks, Jose. And today we want to talk about something that has been like in these days has been very important for most of our customers, because since we are working from home, at the moment that we need to that we need to make the deployment it gets like a little bit uh, hard right can you go next okay so how we as dell right now are helping our customers to go uh, with this situation that we are living is making the configuration is with the configuration services and how is that because we are helping our customers to plan design deploy optimize and manage everything from factory all these things we can do it for you guys right we have this uh, and what we are going to do is that you are going to receive your device ready to use from the factory uh, can you go next please in the in, right now most of you have the traditional deployment right that you receive we send the computer to you you have to receive it open all boxes and you have to make the deployment of each machine one by one with this service that we have today that is called pro deploy we are able to offer you the image from factory also we can configure your bios we also help you with your asset tag and 
also we are going to provide you like an inventory of all the things that you receive so when you have to go with a with the accounting you don't have any issue because uh, they have all the information so they don't have to be open box by box and what we are doing is we are making all the configurations from factory so when you as i mentioned when you receive the computer you are going to be ready to use it right so uh, the services that we are offering as you can see it's going to be imaging right and the image yeah you can go next thank you the most important here is that we are going to reduce cost and we are going to reduce time because right now with this that most of, of you have maybe not go not don't return to the office for example here in panama we are some of the companies are still working from home so if we need to make the deployments it's better to have everything set from factory so when they receive it at home the computer is ready to use and one of the services as i mentioned is imaging because it's going to be easier it's going to be faster and uh, i bring randall buchanan as we mentioned at the beginning, he is our principal engineer, and he's going to explain a little bit how we make this, right? So, uh, all yours, Randa. You can go next, Crystal, please. Randa? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, no. Okay, yes. Uh, hello, my name is uh, Randall Buchanan. I will be talking about our imaging services uh, our profile. Uh, first of all, we need to know exactly what is an image, okay? An image is, is what you capture from the operating system and the applications, and you compress that into a, single, into a single package. That package is the one that we use to upload to the factory, and we deploy that image on all the computers, okay? So all the computers that you're gonna be using, they're, they're gonna be using the same image. It doesn't matter if you have uh, several models, we will use the same image, okay? Uh, next slide. Okay, so we, uh, we, we with Image Assist, we have the option to create the image in an effortless way. So we only have to use the, uh, the software of Image Assist and you will be able to create the image in a really fast and uh, secure way. So, because Image Assist will, will go ahead and check all the parameters that you will, that, that you will need in order to create the image. It will check that you don't have any problems with the drivers, that you don't have any problems with the policies, that you don't have any problems with the registry. I mean, it, it will check everything that you have on the on the system. Okay. So uh, basically, that, that is that is what is Image Assist, and uh, uh, you only have to click uh, in bottom line. You only have to click like next, 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 and you will be able to create your image. You don't have to configure a lot. You only have to uh, to know what you're installing to have your applications, and you will be able to install and create your image with no problem. So we have two types of images. We have dynamic image and we have static image. So the dynamic image is the one that we're that we're promoting. The dynamic image is the one that that we um that that we use. Uh, we we create it on a on a virtual machine, and on that virtual machine we install the operating system plus the applications. And since we capture the image from the virtual machine, that image won't have any drivers. If you use a static image, which you can use, which you can create also with Image Assist, on that on that static image, you will be able to um, you will be able to to create an image, but will will be only assigned to one specific type of computer. You cannot use it on, on different models of computer. So uh, that is the difference between. Uh, uh dynamic image and a static image okay so uh, also we do have something that for example when you create the image oh just one yeah just one more thing <laughs> so yeah so when, when you create the image when you create the image uh we do something that we call a, a validation we send you for example if you don't have a computer a computer we will we will go ahead and send you a, a remote link where you can access we will go ahead and assemble a computer with your same specifications, and we will go ahead and provide you with the remote link so you can verify that the image will be running as you desire, okay? So yeah, now you can go to the next slide. Thank you, Randall. So yes, as you can see, uh, Randall uh, explained like, uh, how it works. Uh, remember that image assist is free so if you are re not ready yet to know how many computers you're gonna buy you can uh, 
even though that you can uh, download image assist and uh, start playing with it to capture your image right so when we are ready when you are ready to place the order just have to send information uh, as, as i can mention also we have the bio settings uh, we also can make hard drive partitioning and encryption we uh, and in the image you can all these things you can they can make it can be made in the when you are capturing the image right can you go next please so this is uh, i just try i just uh, bring a few examples of how, of how it's you're gonna see it when you are making like the bios settings right all the things that you can have done in the bios and i and it's really helpful for example i have one customer in Guyana that he used to buy like 25 computers at the time because he, he needs to make the deployment by her own and now that we uh, have this service we are making the deployment in factory so he is able to buy 50 computers each time that he needs to to change the computers right can we go next this is this is an example of the different kind of asset type that we have that depends on the information that you would like to see because your your internal inventory what what information is really important for you guys that depends on the on the warranty that you are buying as i was saying uh, the thing here is as we said as uh, jose uh, explained the idea is that you have pro support or pro support plus don't be basic that is a new campaign that we have right now but also you can have in the in the asset that you are going to have like the model processor memory that depends on you guys you can select anything of this and it's going to be included in the price of the pro deploy can we go next this is an example of the standard asset report all the information that you are going to be able to to show to your account department and the most important is that uh, you don't have to lo open like box by box uh, to know what what is coming in those boxes right and to have your like inventory of, of tax your uh, the warranty all this information is going to be dpo number everything is going to be uh, in this report right and we don't have like a, a minimum of units to have this service uh, for you guys can we go next Yes, and as I can say, and I was saying, uh, this is an, uh, you ha also have custom configuration if you just want to buy the image, if you just want to configure the BIOS, that depends on you. We are very flexible, and the idea of this is to reduce the time that you guys spend making a deployment so we can make it all, everything for factory. If you want to add a, like, drop in your box, like, lock, locks, or things like that also that can be, could be done and also it's going to come in the standard report information so in the bio setting you can have unlimited choices you can if you have bios splash anything that you would like to do in the bios can be done right so just it's just that that, that let us know remember as i said it's free if you want a demo of this we can uh, arrange after this call you just have to let crystal know and she will contact us and we can arrange the demo so we can show you how work image assist right now for time we are not able to do it but can be done in any case that you need it can we go next and this is a, a finally how many customers has been uh, has approached the benefits of this kind of service and we have done this uh, a lot in all the regions so far we have huge customers that believe in our and our product because they have uh, they have reduced the time a lot and as i mentioned at the beginning with this time of pandemic everybody from home is is better to receive the computer ready to use that to be like opening, making deployments, and then send to the end users, right? So now I'm gonna pass uh, to Ricardo that he's gonna talk a little bit about uh, all the new things that we as Dell has for our devices. Thank you very much. Hi, good morning, everyone. 
I hope you're enjoying this presentation. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about uh, the client portfolio and the objects that we have. I know it's a huge um, portfolio to um, discover and to present, but I'm gonna be very brief with, the, with this presentation. So you can go next to the slide, please. Well, I'm gonna talk first before I go go with the portfolio, I will work, I will talk about WordPress transformations and the continuity to be evolving in this in this environment. A couple of years ago, Dell Technologies uh, pioneered uh, the idea and the concept of um, a WordPress transformation. So the idea was exactly that in order to empower your workforce, you need to provide employees with the right device and accessories to do their job and stay productive. So basically, war for transformation continues to evolve and shift as, as the need and desire of the workforce evolve and shift. So it's a, like a, a win-win situation for the user and the, the, the technology itself. So it can be, it cannot just be about the right device and peripherals. An employee experience with, with their devices is just as important as the device itself. So the employee experience cannot start and stop with the device. An experience is a unique for every person. So every person will handle different kind of situations or a scenario uh, on how they do their work. Can you go next? Thank you. So actually different workers, as I mentioned, uh, needs, needs different solutions. So we need like smarter, faster experience uh, that are not limited to one line of business or one specific product. So we have the broadest portfolio that meet, that, that meet all the needs from highly configurable fixed solutions, for example, our Optiplex desktop or all-in-one or wise clients to the smaller, lightest uh, mobile solution, including Latitude, our powerful precision workstation, including towers, rack, and mobile workstation. And finally, we also have a portfolio of rugged devices. So we also have a, a full portfolio of displays and accessories as a peripheral. So we um, are the only, to be honest, we are the only tire one vendor who can offer this range of portfolio. So you can go next, please. So as as Jose Casal mentioned at the beginning, we have created Dell has created some personas. So work the workforce is no longer a one size fits all. Um, different style, different type of workers need different solutions to get their stay for, uh, to get and stay productive. So we have conducted research over the past years, and we have identified four basic type of workers. We we, we, that we call it uh, personas, as I mentioned. Uh, the first one is the desk centric, who actually is the person who spend most of the time working in a fixed location in the office. We also have the corridor warrior, who spend most of the time on site, but moving from or jumping from one mo um, meeting to the other. Uh, we also have the on the go professional, who are the person who spend most of the time traveling. Uh, they they are called also the, the the road warriors, and those those uh, or that person as is most specific for um, a person who travels or executive who's been like moving around in different countries or in the same country uh, actually too. So we also have the remote workers uh, who work from home uh, or another location like a co-working space or even a, like a coffee shop. And then we have uh, three specialty workers who have a specific needs. Um, for example, the creative, the engineers uh, that need like high performance computers. And also we have the field workers, which includes a military first response and industrial setting that need rugged devices, durable devices and different ecosystems for those um, uh, environments. So, I have a question that is like, which uh, which of these most relevant to your organization? So every organization will have different kind of a scenario or persona, or even will have a mix of all of them. So we at Dell present, as I mentioned before, a huge portfolio of those personas. So you can you can like set up whatever 
uh, needs your end user has, and we will apply it to it. Can you go next? Okay, I'm going to start with our uh, portable devices or PCs or laptops, as everybody uh, everybody calls it. Um, that is our commercial PCs, our mo mobility latitude. That is the name of the of this um, portfolio. Are leading the way to uh, on smarter and faster with Express Sign In, Express Connect, and Express Charge. So those are features that Dell has created to improve the user experience. So we also striving for the smallest the smallest footprint um, while maintaining a maximum screen size. Uh, so you can work efficiently, even whatever you land or wherever you're working. So actually, um, or whatever, however you need with a small, light, and stylish laptop, like two-in-one uh, or regular clamshade, design it, design it for mobility and productivity. So we have, in this portfolio, we have modified a lot the way that the, the user can handle their their laptops. For example, in the past, we used to have like big laptops that are, they were very heavy. And what, I'm sorry, one of the uh, the key pain points that the customer were uh, uh, asking us is that that we can build smaller and lighter devices because like someone with a laptop would need to travel and carry with uh, uh, a huge brick on their back is like, it's a pain point. So we have started reducing the size of the footprint, but keeping and maintaining the size of the screen. So if you compare our models to any of the models in the market, you will you will have actually um, the same uh, screen size with a smaller footprint. So we have also uh, uh, stay our um, models connected with wireless and LTE options too. So you can go next on the slide, please. So I'm going to talk about the Optiplex portfolio. Those are our desktops. Um, we also have smarter designs and tailored experience with different form factor. For example, small form factor, micro form factor, mini tower, and ultra form factor um, that are configurable, configurable with mounting solutions and stamps. A integrated cores, wireless accessories, a full portfolio of monitors, including specialty monitors like uh, Curve, Curve monitors, Doge monitor, integrated webcams and monitors too. So we we have on this uh, on this portfolio of desktop different different options for uh, with 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 users with space constraints and stuff like that. So this is. We call it the most intelligent PC with a built-in artificial intelligence. I'm gonna explain that a little bit later in the next uh, couple of slides. So in this um, generation of uh, desktop, we have up to 10 generation Intel Core i9 processors with up to 10 cores. Uh, we also have up to 128 gigabytes of memory. So it does configurable. You can configure your equipment the way you want it from a, for, from Four gigabytes of memory up to 128. We also have optional integrated Intel Wi-Fi stick on those equipment if, if needed. And actually, this model is a toolless design to ease self-use and expandability in case that you need it. Um, so moving to the next slide. Uh, well, moving forward, uh, I'm going to talk about the works uh, workstation. A workstation is a special is a special computer designed for technical and a specialized user. So we offer multiple form factors to deliver ultimate scalability, including rack workstation, small form factors, and mini towers. And also, and also we have mobile devices uh, from 15 inches to 17 inches workstation, mobile workstation. So the Dell Precision is the name of this product that delivers versatile design intelligent performance and mission critical reliability to conquer the industry most demanding application for those specific users. Uh, so every Dell Precision is engineered with features that you need to bring your biggest idea to life, actually. So you can move to the next slide. Thank you. So 
the last but not least, yeah, I'm going to talk about the latitude rocket. Rocket means a string dura durability for warcraft reliability in rough conditions. So if that kind of user no need, have no need to stop, regardless the environment. They have been military tested for durability. So the, the latitude is designed for the way you work with features like outdoor readable displays, globe, globe cap capable touch, legacy IO capability and advanced wireless connectivity. So those are for a specialty users that need like working in a, in a rough environment. So can you go next, please? I'm gonna finish this presentation, this portfolio. I mean, I have a, a, a lot of information from each uh, of this portfolio, for example, for latitudes, for optifex, for precision, but I won't have the time. So if you have any question regarding a specific model, you can reach out uh, your, your salesperson. So we can help you out and guide you through the process of, of choosing whatever model you need or what a scenario or what persona will fit in this specific model. So um, I'm gonna finish it with uh, a tool that we have that is totally for free, that is called the Dell Optimizer. Uh, we have a product, um, a great product and capability on the Dell Umbrella, and it's for free for our commercial laptops and desktops and um, workstation. So we started with Dell Precision Optimizer, and we got the great response response from our customers. So Dell optimizers evolved from DPO to enable additional features that improve experience across our product in single interface. So it's no, Dell optimizer is no longer for only workstation as it started, but it's for all of the commercial line. So it has like four models. The first one is called the um, uh, Express with Smart for app. So user, user use, um, um, it uses an artificial intelligence and machine learning to understand the behaviors on the users on a specific application selected by you. So that application launch, perform, and transition faster. So the user actually have to uh, manually select up to five applications. So with the artificial intelligence, the machine will understand what is the behavior of this uh, program or application uh, will run faster like every time you're going to be using it. So it, it optimizes the uses of that application or software. So, but you, the user has to uh, add it manually to the Dell Optimizer. So the other model that we have is the Dell Express Charge Power. Uh, we're still in the, in the previous presentation. Uh, the Express Charge Power. So it charges your battery up to 80% in just, in just one hour. We also have the Express Charge, charge Boost that delivers 35% charge in 20 minutes. Um, yeah, and it's actually, it, it extends the battery life by lowering the charge threshold when it hits under 100% capacity. That's something that was happening and customer was complaining about uh, swollen batteries. So we have create, created these models to avoid that. It's when for example, when you use your cell phone and it hits on 100%, it continues delivering power to the, to the device and that can damage the battery of it. So with this option, once your computer hits 100%, the power delivery stops. So it will help you or, or avoid that the battery gets damaged. And also we have the auto model is just press sign in with the options like walk away lock, La, that's the way that you lock the PC as the user walks away, walk, walks away from the system. So when you're not using, normally some of, some companies have the security measures like you have to block your computer once you step out of the, um, uh, of the desk. So if this, this options will let, will let the computer know that you're not in front of it and will lock the computer manually. We also have the wake on approach, but uh, that puts the PC to wake state as user approach the system. But for that, the system has to be configured with proximity sensor. So with the computer, we'll understand that you're getting closer to the computer and we'll activate the manual sign-in. So it will depend if you have to put your password or 
or fingerprint or or face ID recognition or stuff like that. It will depend, but you don't have to like be moving your mouse so the computer will know that you're in front of it. And we have the last, the last model is the intelligent audio uh, that Dell Optimizer uses like wave technologies to automate mic tuning, speech tuning, background noises, reduction. So you have that better audio conference experience on your system when you don't have like in, just in case that you don't have like uh, a headset or something like that, that that will help you out to have a conference. So the user can select various environment settings, such as quiet room, noisy office, multiple voices, and stuff like that, and recording studio. So based on your selection, uh, the Dell Optimizer adjusts the loudness, noises, levels, and equalizes the echo canceling. Um, Canceling on, so you have the best audio experience. So that will be all on my side. Thank you, Randall, um, Ricardo. All right, so we have a final question. As Ricardo and Stephanie would have pointed out, uh, you have the option to see these features up close and personal through a POC. So you can let us know, um, I'm posting a poll right now, you can let us know if it is that you would want to book one of those POCs. All right, so you can just uh, respond to that quick poll and then we can go into questions and answers because I know you must have some, some questions coming out of all that the team has, has covered today. So I'm gonna allow you some time, just a few more seconds to respond. All right, so I see your response is coming in. And if you have responded, just use the time now and just pose your questions um, in the questions tab. All right, so I have a question for you, Jose. So the first question is, can you highlight how support assist helps to make things easier? Yes, for sure, Crystal. Remember that uh, one of the, the list of benefits that support assist will gonna help for customers detecting and predicting failures, consolidate the logs, centralized monitoring, review also uh, recommendation for DPCs in terms of performance and fine tuning, and also a general status review for, for those PCs. And also related to updates too, for patching and, and reduce the task, uh, nightmares related to patches. Okay, thank you, Jose. So ask your questions. We have one in now. Um, Stephanie, I'm gonna give you this one. It says, what's the difference between a dynamic image and a static image? So it would be you or, or Randall who can answer that question, please. Okay, the difference between the dynamic image is that you can use it in all the devices that you buy. If it's in a static image, it's just for that exactly device. For example, if you are buying Optiplex and Latitudes, you can use a dynamic image. But if you are use, but if you are buying a, the same a Optiplex and Latitude with a, a static image, you need to make one image for each model. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. And we have another question and it says, how does the imaging option impact the time to delivery? In this case, what we do is that we start uh, with the project before, for example, uh, we encourage our customers to have the demo, to make the image. So when they receive, when we, when you guys place the order, then we send that information to the to the factory. They are gonna like assign a engage manager that she is gonna help us through Tech Direct to make all the to get the image and all this stuff. 
And all after that, in the factory, they are going to review that the images that you upload are working in the models or devices that you buy. So at, at the end, this process takes around five days. That depends on you if you are answering to the engagement manager all the questions that she might have. And after that, that's it. And the same time of, 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 of that that takes to you to receive the just need to add like five days. Okay, thanks, Stephanie. All right, so I see that we went a little bit over the time. So I'm gonna use this opportunity to thank uh, our audience for taking the time out to attend today's session. I'm gonna also thank our team from Dell who delivered a, a poignant presentation. Um, and I'm gonna ask persons, if you have any further questions, you can reach out to us, the marketing team at Fujitsu at FCL underscore marketing at Fujitsu.com. You also have the option to reach out to your client executive um, with any questions that you may have. And of course, you can, as Stephanie um, said, and the team from Dell, you can request that proof of concept so that will help you um, in looking into which option is best for you. So I'm gonna thank you all for attending and wish you all the best for the rest of the day and the rest of the week. Thank you so much. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank you, team, take care.